Friday top five. Okay, so today my video is for you, the new natural. I am going to talk about the five things you must absolutely invest in when you begin your natural hair journey. Those of us who are natural and have been doing this a while, we already have these things. But since you're new to this natural journey and you're thinking about transitioning and you have all those questions, I'm going to tell you the five things that you must have to start this journey out successfully. And I'm not saying that you're going to be able to um, identify which ones are going to work for you right away. But if you had five things that you have to invest in in order to make that transition from the world of relaxer and returning to natural, then these are the five things. But first, I'm going to give you um, this special guest appearance that did not make the list because I don't really consider this a product, so to speak. But it is absolutely essential for you to have a water bottle. Water is your number one best friend. So this is not part of the five product list, but it is something that you should invest in. This is from the dollar store and um, it sprays like this. You can control it. So invest in a good water bottle and keep water in it. If you live somewhere where there's hard water, boil it first or get distilled water, um, which really isn't necessary unless you live somewhere where there's hard water and your, your hair just will reject the water. So invest in a good water bottle. Without delay, we're going to do number five in the order of what you need in, in the portents. And this list isn't like descending. Um, so we're just gonna start with what you need to get. So number five, what you need to have. And by no means, and let me give a disclaimer. By no means am I endorsing any particular product. The products that you're about to see are just examples of what you will need on your natural journey. Got it? Okay. Five Here we on go. your list that you shall need is a good cleanser. Okay. We are not promoting shampoos in my world. Um, that's another channel. I don't do shampoos. I do cleansers. Um, that a cleanser is a uh, um, a cleansing agent that does not have sulfate. This particular bottle is Kinky Curly Come Clean. It is a clarifying um, cleanser. They um, talk about it being a shampoo, but there's no sulfate in it. So you want a good cleanser in your regimen. Number four, the next thing that you should have on your list is a detangling washout conditioner. You want to find a good conditioner that not only moisturizes your hair, but also enables you to detangle after you have cleansed it. Because the longer your hair gets, the more tangles you will have, the more clumping, the, um, the easier it is for shed hair to get trapped at the ends of your hair. So you want something that is going to be inexpensive because you're going to be using it all the time to detangle your hair. But yes, you want something that you are going to completely wash out. And so for me, um, for for this, I use this because it is very cheap, it's very big, and I wash it out. So number four is a detangling rinse out conditioner. Number three on the list is a leave-in conditioner slash moisturizer. Now, many people don't realize that in the history of the beauty industry, leave-in conditioners, their whole purpose was to replenish moisture to your hair. Therefore, they created a leave-in conditioner. However, as the beauty industry developed and they became more conscious that people need moisture, they also started marketing moisturizers. And these are created equal. Their purpose is simultaneous, is, is absolute, simultaneously, that means at the same time. Their purpose is absolutely the same. So what I found in my regimen is you can use one or the other. It is not necessary once your hair is balanced and once your hair is in great condition and healthy condition to use both. So in my regimen, unless I'm doing something damaging to my hair, which I don't because right now I'm not using heat, but maybe once or twice a year, if that, um, I haven't done that in a long time, 
and um, I don't I don't swim I'm not swimming so right now I'm not doing anything damaging to my hair so I am currently not using a leave-in conditioner I am only using a moisturizer after I rinse out my um, detangling conditioner okay so number three is your moisturizer or your conditioner now some people use both let me put a disclaimer out there but what happens when you begin to use both is you begin to build product upon product and you find that your hair will become heavy and it will become weighed down and you won't have the softness and the, the movement that you need to. Okay, so number three has been your moisturizer slash and or leave-in conditioner. Okay, so then number four on the list would be your sealant. Okay. It is very important for you to invest in a sealing oil. Oil seal the shaft. What that means is it traps the, well not traps because that would be bad. What it does is it closes your cuticle now that the moisture has been put in from the moisturizer and the water. Um, what you do is, is you want to close your cuticle and so you need a really good sealing oil to put in your hair and close that cuticle so that your hair stays um, moisturized on the inside all that moisture you just put back in and so the oil acts as a barrier to keep the water from seeping out as fast will it eventually seep out yes it will but your oil helps to reduce the rate at which it seeps out and it helps to lay your cuticle back um, your hair follicle and your cuticles back down so that you have a smooth feel and it makes your hair shiny I love this particular oil um, I use in the summer and the spring this is grapeseed oil and in the colder elements I have to use a little bit something thicker and so um, now that it's cold and it's, it's kind of harsh outside I'm using castor oil so you may invest in one or two early in my journey I invested in almond oil because almond oil is really good for um, stimulating healthy hair growth um, for, for making sure you have shiny hair and, and strength and life. Number one. Okay, I forgot what order I was going in. The number one thing that you should invest in, the last thing you should put in your hair and when you're doing your regimen, is going to be your alcohol-free gel. Now, if you're if you're a subscriber to my channel, you know I don't use Echo Styler gel. However, I did want to put an example that you guys could um, recognize because I could put in my flaxseed gel, which is what I use, but um, if you're newly natural, which is who this video is made for, you're not going to recognize what flax. You may you may not recognize what flaxseed gel is. If you're interested in flaxseed gel, I do have a recipe. It's very simple on my on my channel. You can check that out. But for the purposes of getting started, invest in a good, um, a useful gel that does not have alcohol in it. And most naturals will tell you that Echo Styler is very versatile, um, and it will enable you to have a a nicer journey while you're trying to experiment with what works for your hair and it's very um, I've done a review on it so you can also check out that review as well but this would be the very last thing you put on your hair and so those ladies are your top five and gents I may have some gentlemen watching I don't know but those are your top five for this Friday and um, in order in which you would use them so cleanse condition moisturize seal and set okay the five steps of any hairstyle and when I say set I mean once you apply that gel let it be have you heard that song let it be let it be let it be let it be because if you don't however you lie that's how it will dry so if you frizz it it's going to dry frizzy if you split however it lies is how it dries so let it be once you get your style let it set and don't manipulate it anymore until it's completely 100 percent dry especially if you're using that echo styler gel all right so i hope this has been a beneficial five friday for you and i hope you'll tune in with me next week for the friday top five grace and peace divas <laughs>